Welcome to Eden Housing's 2024 Volunteer Appreciation Event. We are so happy you've come to join us today as we give much gratitude and appreciation to the volunteers that help Eden Housing fulfill its mission to provide quality affordable housing for residents throughout California. We encourage you to leave messages on the video and share in the congratulations during the program. And now it's time to launch into our volunteer appreciation event with the chairman of the board of Eden Housing, Rudy Johnson. Good day. Thank you, Michael. And thank you to all of our award winners and congratulations. Volunteering is at the heart of Eden Housing. Our board of directors is an all volunteer body. It's critical to the enhancement of our services. Volunteers touch over 130 locations for diverse groups, making their role very crucial to our mission and our operation. Volunteers empower families to access resources and opportunities focusing on community building, health, and financial stability. Comprehensive services. They extend beyond individual aid, contributing to community strength and support within the Eden housing developments. The power of partnerships, community, and volunteerism creates a synergy between volunteers, the community, and Eden Housing, driving transformational change up and down the state of California. Volunteers' dedication is invaluable, pivotal in transforming lives and strengthening communities. We here at Eden Housing applaud you and thank you for your contributions and acknowledge that all you do help to serve the greater state of California. Congratulations. Now I'll turn it over to our president and CEO, Linda Mandolini. I want to acknowledge and thank our new board chair, Rudy Johnson, uh, not just for being with us today, but also for being a volunteer. Like all of our board members at Eden, since 1968, everyone has been a volunteer. We have a long tradition of volunteers here at Eden Housing. And they have helped us do a whole host of things from after school programs to technology programs and to now financial literacy programs. They've been really a, a huge part of our success. Uh, I want to acknowledge today everyone who's getting an award, including the Foundation Award for James Kennedy, our former board chair, and our Civic Leader Award, which is going to Senator Nancy Skinner, who has done uh, amazing work on our collective behalf to help make it possible for e the Edens of the world to build more housing. I also want to just note how big the volunteer contribution is here at Eden. 7,100 individual hours for 2023. And last year we had eight corporations volunteer an, an additional 261 hours at nine sites in our portfolio. This is valued at more than a quarter of a million dollars worth of time and knowledge. And all of this work has been to either support our properties or our resident services programming. We are so thrilled to be acknowledging some people who have really distinguished themselves uh, in their contributions to our work from important partners like Vivalon to individuals who have done work with our residents, helping them manage their budgets and save more money. We are greatly appreciative of all of their work and I'm so excited that they are being awarded today. It's a pleasure to present Jim Kennedy with our foundation award. This award is presented to board members who helped further Eden's mission and we couldn't think of a more fitting individual than Jim. Jim most recently served as Eden's chairman for four years and on Eden's board for almost two decades, demonstrating an unparalleled dedication to supporting the organization's vision to make sure that everyone has accessible, safe, decent, high quality, and affordable housing. During his tenure as chairman, he played a vital role in shaping our strategic plan and fostering our diversity goals, both of which are fundamental to our organization's vision. One of the things I can think about for Jim, particularly as we worked on our DEI goals, was his ability to maintain sort of a calm demeanor. We had a lot of discussions around the subject, and as you can imagine, a lot of different opinions, but we could always rely on Jim to, to keep us on point and to keep a calm energy to, to make sure that we got to the other side. And that's one thing that I always appreciate about Jim. 
Jim is also very active in the community, advocating for the creation of more affordable housing and actively promoting transit-oriented development initiatives. In fact, he was recently recognized by the House of Representatives at a recent dedication of the Jim Kennedy Village Green at Contra Costa Center, a green space linking the Iron Horse Trail and the Town Square Fairgate to the Contra Costa Center and the Pleasant Hill Bart Station. We're very proud of Jim's efforts to serve his community in Eden Housing, and I look forward to continue working with him more in the future to make a positive impact in the lives of the people we serve. Once again, Jim, we're so happy and proud to present you with the 2024 Foundation Award. Allow me to introduce Jim Kennedy. Thank you, Sean. It's uh, been an honor to uh, be recognized by Eden Housing, which is a respected organization that's been near and dear to my heart for more than 40 years. The Eden Housing board membership provides is, is, an, is an opportunity as a volunteer to continue work in the afford, affordable housing realm. Uh, I spent almost my entire career doing that and uh, believe strongly in, in the merits of it. And as a board member, you, you not only are able to uh, set policy, but you also approve major initiatives, and that's what uh, ultimately it's all about, is producing more affordable housing and operating it in a, in a sound manner. So the work at Eden Housing still goes on. The strategic plan is for uh, the growth and, and uh, enhancement of the organization over the long term, and uh, I look forward to seeing many more projects coming online and uh, more low-income uh, families and seniors being provided uh, a, you know, really good shelter in uh, a tough environment. It is my honor to be with you today and to honor Senator Skinner uh, for the Eden Housing Civic Leader Award. California State Senator Nancy Skinner serves her constituents of the 9th Senate District. She is the chair of the Senate Budget Committee and is the vice chair of the Legislative Women's Caucus. She was recently chair of the Senate Budget Committee, as I mentioned, and now chairs the Housing Committee. As budget chair, she has helped negotiate budgets that invested billions of dollars into affordable housing for Californians. Throughout her career, Skinner has been a steadfast advocate for affordable housing for reducing barriers and for expanding housing supply. She's been dedicated to increasing home development and simplifying the overall building process. Notably, she is the author of several pieces of groundbreaking and impactful housing legislation, including the expansion of Accelerate Dwelling Units or ADUs, which has been enacted under Governor Newsom's administration. Among her many legislative achievements is SB 330, the Housing Crisis Act of 2019, which catalyzed housing construction in California, maintaining its momentum even through the pandemic. Additionally, Skinner's efforts led to the passage of SB 8, which extended the Housing Crisis Act provisions to 2030, aiming to streamline housing development across the state. With SB 439, Skinner spearheaded the efforts to reduce the misuse of California Environment Quality Act or CEQA as it's locally known, resulting in its passage in October of 2023. This incredible law aims to boost affordable housing by curbing the filing of groundless lawsuits under CEQA, often used to hinder project progress. These laws and her steadfast commitment have benefited housing organizations like Eden Housing, and we are so thrilled to honor her with a Civic Leader Award. Thank you, Senator Skinner, for all you do to house California's families. Hi, I'm Nancy Skinner. I'm the state senator for the East Bay, and I'm very pleased to be joining Eden Housing at this event to celebrate you, their local volunteers, and to celebrate the honorees, which I am one, so thank you. And to Linda, the Eden staff, board members, supporters, and all of you, congratulations on the new Ruby Street Apartments in Castro Valley. They've added 72 new housing units for our low and very low income East Bay residents 
the exact kind of project that Eden is known for. I'm very honored to be receiving the Civic Leaders Award, and it's been a privilege to have partners like Eden Housing that have been enabled me and inspired me to deliver the kind of housing legislation that I've been able to deliver that has boosted housing supply and boosted housing affordability. And it was also my privilege to be the Senate budget chair during a time where we had the funding so that we could make record investments in housing overall and especially housing for our unhoused people, where over a two year period from 21 to 23, we invested a record $31 billion of state funds, never done it before. So I really appreciate being recognized for um, that work, which of course I never can do alone, but did it with great partners. And I thank you for it. Congrats to the other honorees and here's to Eden's continued success. I am so happy to be here and I have the honor of presenting the Strategic Partner Award to Vivalon. Eden Housing and service provider Vivalon partnered to bring a new healthy aging center and senior affordable housing to downtown San Rafael. Vivalon Healthy Aging Campus is the first partnership with Eden Housing and demonstrates a groundbreaking collaboration providing affordable housing with comprehensive senior services. It's also wonderful that Vivalon provides a sustainable living environment and it features environmentally friendly, senior focused design for safe, comfortable living. And it happens to be San Rafael's first car free community. Also big congratulations to Vivalon for celebrating 70, yes, 70 years of operations, focusing on senior engagement and support. I attended the grand opening of Vivalon in February with the hundreds of other supporters and I had the opportunity to meet one of the residents, one of the senior residents, when I was standing in line with these hundreds of people. She told me that she had been renting in Marin County, renting an apartment for decades, and had worked in retail for Macy's for many, many years. When Macy's laid her off, unfortunately, she could no longer afford her apartment, and she was desperate. She also couldn't find another retail position. She found out about Eden Housing's Vivalon community, and she was thrilled to get an apartment that she could afford. And now she has a whole new career as a home care provider. Vivalon addresses the needs of an aging population and contributes to reducing the severe affordable housing shortage for seniors in Marin County. I am so pleased and thrilled to announce that Vivalon has been chosen to receive the 2024 Strategic Partner Award from Eden Housing. Congratulations. On behalf of Vivalon, I want to thank Eden Housing, the entire Eden Housing team for this uh, prestigious partnership award. Uh, we would not have our new healthy aging campus in downtown San Rafael if it were not for our partnership with Eden Housing. We started this project and picked Eden Housing as our partner over 10 years ago because we saw them as the right partner in this project to provide the housing to complement what we were providing in services and support for our frail elders in the community in Marin. Uh, from the be beginning, um, the knowledge, skills, and experience that Eaton Housing provided us uh, and the ability for them to help us build and realize this vision of creating a new community model of care for the frail elders uh, has been made possible because of this partnership. Uh, from every aspect of those 10 years, Eden Housing was side by side with us in making this happen. Um, it's a model that we're hearing other people around the state and around the country are very interested in. So we hope that in the future, we could do more of these types of community-based campuses for healthy aging, partnering with Eden Housing. Uh, it's these types of partnerships that make these projects work as well as they do and really the most important thing, take care of our feral elders in our community who now have a nice option of when, how they want to live their life and the last years of their life in a community that they've been raised in and worked in and enjoyed. So hats off to Eden Housing. Uh, we love that they've accepted our uh, us as a partner the way they have and that this, this award means a lot to us. So again, from the whole Bibelon family, thanks to the Eden Housing family. I'm so happy to be here to present Cleve Arrington with this year's Economic Empowerment Award. 
In his debut year as a coach with Eden Savers, Cleve exceeded expectations by mentoring four residents, far surpassing the typical match rate, and we're so glad he's continuing with us in 2024. Faced with unexpected coach availability issues in 2023, Cleve demonstrated exceptional adaptability and dedication by stepping in to cover the shortfall, ensuring continued support for our residents. Despite being in Virginia, Cleve effectively coached clients across California, including Brentwood, San Jose, and San Diego, demonstrating his ability to impact lives regardless of geographical barriers. Cleve's contributions are so important to the residents in our communities. Please join me in congratulating Cleve as the 2024 Economic Empowerment Award recipient. Mr. Cleve Arrington, how are you doing today? I am doing wonderful, Michael. Thank you. Well, you know, the question right out the gate has to be, what motivates you, Cleve, to give of your time and energy in such a wonderful way? My motivation stems from my humble beginning. My beginning began in public housing. I lived there for several years. Later on, I joined the, the military where I met some men and women that poured into me and mentored me and assisted me and my growth and my development. So this is my way of giving back. And what wow. better way to give back, Michael? Cleve, I want to hear what success story do you have? What's a story that when you come to mind, it's like, man, this made it all worth it. One particular success story is a gentleman that he's obviously a housing resident. He had a lot of debt and this can affect him both mentally as, as well as his financial well-being. But working with this gentleman over several months, we were able to come up with a comprehensive plan to hone in on the debt and come up with a, a debt management program to assist him in dwelling down the debt, neutralizing the debt. And over our time together, partnering in this endeavor, he was able to raise his credit score between 17, 20 points. So that's, wow. that's a big win for him. I have no doubt, no doubt that it's going to be a, a really, really good experience for me. I am so honored to be here today to present the Eden Friend Award to Brianna Dagnino, a wonderful young high schooler in the Novato community. There are many wonderful things about Brianna. She's a dedicated youth volunteer. Since 2018, she has been leading Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners giveaways at Eden's Warner Creek Senior Community in Novato, demonstrating unwavering community commitment. Her support extended throughout COVID-19, showcasing her adaptability and dedication. Her homemade meals and consistent presence have deeply touched Warner Creek seniors, highlighting the profound impact of youth volunteerism. Her tenacity and generosity have made her an integral part of the community. Brianna funds her initiatives through personal efforts like selling Girl Scout cookies, embodying a self-reliant and giving spirit without seeking external rewards. Brianna's acts of kindness have fostered a sense of hope and community at Warner Creek, providing the enduring power of generosity. Her vibrant energy and positivity have made her a beacon of hope and a community treasure. I am honored to present Brianna Dagnino with the Eden Friend Award. Uh, my name is Brianna. I am 17 years old and I am a junior at Marine Catholic. Now, it's amazing you're winning an award from us. We've had these awards for years and years, but there's something that you do that not a lot of other 16-year-olds do. Talk to us about what motivates you to help out here at Warner Creek. Um, well, I feel like I've always kind of strived to like help others and I feel like there's a lot of things over the years that I've done um, to kind of just help like the community in so many different ways. My favorite part of doing all of this is at the end of it, I kind of get cards from everyone of like appreciation. So I think my favorite part is just going home after and just like being able to read those cards and like what everyone has to say. Maybe there was, you know, another teen or, or maybe a college student who was thinking about helping out in the community like this. What, what would you tell them to do is maybe the first step that they should do? I feel like a lot of like the stuff you do community wise, since there's so many ways you can help, I think just f like doing things that fit like the interests you like doing or like the stuff that you like doing. So like for some people, it could be like volunteering with kids with disabilities or volunteering with like 
senior housing or like there's so many ways you can help the community I think that the first step in like finding what you want to volunteer in is just like focusing it on like what your interests are. It was definitely really fun or really like exciting finding out that I won the award um, because like I said I feel like the work that me and my mom have done has really been paying off and like it feels great knowing that everyone in the community is appreciative of what her and I do. I'm honored to present the Good Neighbor Award to Matilde Garcia. Since late 2018, Matilde has led a weekly exercise class for seniors. She actively participates in the Mercy Brown Bag Program, packing and distributing food bags bi-monthly to seniors across multiple sites. Matilde is known for her reliability and exemplary customer service. She consistently looks out for seniors' well-being, making her an invaluable volunteer. Matilde shares her love of community through her selfless dedication to improving the lives of people around her. She's passionate about volunteering and views her volunteer work as both medicine and therapy for herself. Volunteers are love in action. Witnessing Matilde share her gifts with community members is truly love in action. And there are not enough words to express our gratitude and appreciation for what you share with us. I'm going to share a word with you that has special meaning to me, and I believe you'll understand why. Ubuntu. A person with Ubuntu is open and available to others, affirming of others, does not feel threatened that others are able and good, for they have a proper self-assurance that comes from knowing that they belong in a greater whole and is diminished when others are humiliated or diminished when others are tortured or oppressed. Ubuntu speaks particularly about the fact that you can't exist as a human being in isolation. It speaks about our interconnectedness. You can't be human all by yourself. And when you have this quality, Ubuntu, you're known for your generosity. What you do, Matilde, in volunteering helps community members have peace of mind, and there is no price on that. Matilde Garcia, I am honored to be in your presence and to present you with the 2024 Eden Housing Good Neighbor Award. Matilde. How long have you lived here at the property? 14 years. 14, 14 years. years. Yeah. And before that, you were at Wicklow Square was, in Dublin? Yeah, in that tower. I was living there. And then I moved to this, in the glory. This is a paradise. Mm -hmm. This it is. The people, the, all the management that we have, it's the same, like the family. That I don't speak Korean, I don't speak Chinese, mm -hmm. I don't speak Hindi, but we try the, like the sister brothers. Now today we're here to talk about you though, because you're also a huge volunteer at the property and you contribute a lot. Can you talk to us about these exercise classes that yes. you're known for? What do you do? Is it the Tuesday? It is it's in my room for the class, okay. yeah. Many people come, go, come, it's, it's, yeah, depends. But me, always, all that Tuesday, all that Tuesday. Uh, this is good motivation for myself. And yeah. I share with the other people. Mm -hmm. oh, we are doing in the end, probably for the hormone one, endorphina. Yeah, everybody will ha, 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 ha. dancing, uh, rock and roll. Well, Matilda, Eden Housing, we're so thankful for what you do, and that's why you're getting the award this year because of your volunteer attitude. <laughs> I feel very, very grateful mm. because oh my God, it's very high emotions mm -hmm. because always I work with the people mm -hmm. because I love the people. And they love me. It doesn't matter. I love it. It's enough. Congratulations to all of our award winners. And now, President and CEO Linda Mandolini to close out our award ceremony. 
As you can see, we have an amazing group of volunteers that we've honored today, and we are thrilled that all of you could join us today to acknowledge their individual and corporate contributions. We really appreciate all of them and all of you for joining us today.